I want to introduce up here virtually Giuseppe Leone. He is also an ACR member, ACR Hawaii chapter. So you can say aloha to him. Hi, um, nice to meet you. So uh, this, and he's on um, Zoom. Dot us I think is the software and he's gonna he's gonna take it from here I've been interacting with him a little bit I've been interested in online mediation for some time and he has something called the virtual mediation lab which I'm sure he'll talk about and um, fill out your evaluation forms if you have them we'll, we don't oh, yep they're going around right now and after that I'll let you take it away Giuseppe. thank you very much well thank you for inviting me to your uh, annual conference I hope that uh, has been useful so far and uh, I'd like to point out that uh, we are video recording uh, this webinar so th there is no need for you to take notes uh, unless you want to and uh, starting tomorrow the video recording will be available uh, both on our website and I, I, I assume that it will soon be available through the uh, ACR Greater New York um, section uh, chapter website as well uh, as you know uh, as you heard my name is Giuseppe Leone I'm the founder of virtual mediation lab an online mediation project sponsored by the ACR Hawaii and today's topic is online mediation so let's get started okay so so the topic is how to incorporate online mediation into our practice. This is uh, what I thought about online mediation a few years ago. I thought, ah, it can't be the same. It must be difficult. It's not for me. And I believe it when I see it. And that was back in 1998. And at that time, there was no video conferencing software as we are using now. It was only by email. And I'm sure that some of you, you know, all of you probably think the same way about online mediation right now. So I hope that uh, during this presentation, uh, I can share some information that you will find useful, uh, particularly how we can do online what we are used to do face to face and how to blend online and face to face mediation. Briefly, this is my mediation experience. I've been a mediator in Hawaii since 1997, face-to-face uh, -face and online. I particularly specialize in commercial and workplace cases. I train mediators and mediation centers around the world how to mediate online. I've run hundreds of online mediation simulations with mediators from 30 countries. So I've seen what works well and not so well, both from the mediator's perspective and the parties' perspectives, because as you can imagine, the parties' behavior online is different than face-to-face, -face. and I will explain why. I also mediate for the United, United States Postal Service. We mediate, obviously, workplace disputes, typically between supervisors and employees, and in January 2014, I mediated the first case online in the United States for their program. So that was more than two years ago, right? And finally, I participate in a very interesting and innovative project it's called Online Peer Mediation Platform. It's a two-year project funded by the James Foundation. The idea is to show how schools, middle and high schools in the United States, can help their students learn peer mediation skills and practice their mediation skills online. So this, is, this was my experience. Let's get down to our presentation today. It consists of three parts. I will give a presentation about online mediation and then that will be a brief demo. Then I will show you a 10 minute video of an online mediation simulation was a merchant consumer dispute that we ran with Justin Stroke and Manish Matur. And then we'll open up a Q&A session. So you can ask Justin, I don't know whether Manish is there. You can ask Justin and Manish, what was their experience participating in online for the first time? 
And obviously you can ask me any questions about what I'll be saying in the next half hour. So let's get started. What online mediation means, how it works, how to blend online and face-to-face -face mediation, which cases are suitable for online mediation, what are the benefits of online mediation both to the parties and to us mediators, which collaboration software seems to work best for online mediation, and what are the criteria for choosing a video software for, for online mediation. How you can try online mediation for free, because I think that that's the best way of finding out whether you, you like online mediation or you don't. How you can get hands-on training in uh, online mediation. And then, as I said, I will demonstrate uh, everything that I said. So let's see, let's start with what online mediation means. Online mediation means that the parties can be anywhere, can be in different cities, can be different states, different countries, different continents. They can be connected with any device they have. It can be a PC, it can be a Mac, it can be an iPad, iPhone, Android, a tablet or smartphone, or it can be a landline phone. For example, if they are in the United States, they will call a number, they will dial our, say, online mediation room, and they can participate. If they are in France, in New Zealand, in Canada, they will dial a different number, and they can participate by phone. So as long as they have any of these devices, they can participate in an online mediation. The parties can be anywhere. They can be at their office, they can be at home, they can be on the road. It, do, it really doesn't matter. What matters is that they have a good connection. Who can participate in an online mediation? Obviously, the mediator or two co-mediators. I know that, for example, some community mediation centers, for a number of reasons, prefer to have two co-mediators. So we can have one mediator or two co-mediators, parties, minimum two, up to 50. And then we can have the parties' representatives, for example, the parties' attorneys or the parties' union reps. Or they can be experts, for example, tax consultants, who can participate in online mediation and give their advice uh, about the feasibility of one option versus another option. In international mediations, we can also have a language translator, or in some cases, we can have a sign interpreter. Needless to say that the translator and the sign interpreter can be anywhere. They don't need to be next to the parties. As long as they are connected, they can be anywhere in the world. Now, not all parties need to be online. We can have a situation in which some of the parties, as you can see in this picture, are in front of us in our office, and some parties are online on the screen. In this case, it is important that the people who are on the screen do not receive more or less attention than the people in front of us. So to be very blunt, from our perspective as mediators, it really doesn't matter whether the parties are in front of us or online. They still deserve uh, to have the time, and we are going to give them the time to speak up their mind uh, equally and fully, whether they are in front of us or they are miles away. How online mediation works. Obviously, we can have joint meetings with all parties, as shown in this picture. We can, with a click of a mouse, we can also have private meetings. For example, if I say to party number two, I'm going to have a private chat with party number one. So I'm going to put you on hold for 10 minutes. And while you're on hold, can you please think about something or write something down or have a cup of coffee? I'll get back to you in 10 minutes and we'll take it from there. So with a click of a mouse, we can switch between joint meetings and private meetings. 
We can also conduct what is called shuttle diplomacy in multi-party disputes. For example, imagine that we have a dispute with three parties and each party is represented by their CEO, by their attorney, by their uh, uh, CFO, uh, anybody else. So we have different parties with different people. Probably at the beginning, we will have all parties online, okay, so to explain the ground rules, what is going to happen, and so on. But at one point, we may decide that it's better to create what are called breakout rooms so that each party can consult among themselves. Now, keep in mind, for example, in case of party number one, the CEO of a company is in New York. Their attorney can be in Los Angeles. Okay. So we, cr we can create virtual rooms so that each party can caucus among themselves. Okay. Also, we can create virtual rooms so that we can meet only with the party CEOs or only with the party's attorneys. So imagine that you have an office with a large mediation room and separate mediation rooms where each party can meet on themselves. So we can join each room, ask them, how are you doing? You know, are you, uh, what do you think of the offer that has been put forward by the other party? Do you have a counter offer? Are you ready to come back? And when everybody is ready, we can bring them back into the main mediation room. So this is, these are the possibilities that we have for meeting with the parties. If we want, we can put everybody on hold so we can take time for ourselves to go through our notes, find out what information we have, what information we are still missing, and decide what's the best way of getting the information that we're missing, whether it's better to ask that information in, in, a, uh, in, in a joint session or whether to ask that information privately to each party. Uh, this applies also if instead of having a solo mediator, we have two co-mediators. The two co-mediators can caucus among themselves and strategize what uh, their next moves are going to be. Which of them is going to ask what to which party? In addition to all this, online we can share any kind of information. We can share pictures, we can share documents, and I will show you later, contracts, proposals, invoices, anything that is in digital format. We can share uh, uh, worksheet files, for example, an Excel file. Imagine a divorce where you have um, two parties, two spouses, and their attorneys. We can pull up a worksheet online with a list of assets and liabilities, and we can run some what-if scenarios. What if, for example, the family home, instead of being split 50-50, is split 60-40? Or if the wife's or husband's pension, instead of being split one way, is split with the other? We can have uh, videos. So in a car accident way, uh, uh, in a car accident case, so in, a, in an insurance, with an insurance uh, case, if one of the drivers has shot a video with their iPhone, that video can be shown online, can be discussed online. Mobile devices like iPad and iPhone, as you will see in the demonstration with Justin uh, later, can play a very important role because nowadays most of those devices have two cameras, a front camera and a back camera. So just by switching the cameras from front to the back, the one party can show the mediator and the other party what they're talking about. For example, in a homeowner contractor dispute, the homeowner can use a iPhone to show which parts of the wall the contractor needs to paint again. Uh, in, a, in an e-commerce dispute, if the, if the item received by the buyer is different than described, 
instead of having the buyer describing the differences, the buyer can just show the item online. So this is very simple and very, very, very powerful, I think. Also, online, we can share um, website. It can be our website. In, uh, in a divorce case, for example, uh, if there is a judiciary website where the, uh, uh, the spouses can download some forms, we can share the website with them and we can show them exactly where they need to click to download the forms that are relevant to their case. Online, we can also have what, uh, the, an online whiteboard, which can be uh, very useful, for example, for writing up the party's memorandum of understanding, or it can be useful for writing, writing up the agenda for uh, the, uh, the party's next meeting. And finally, we can use annotation tools so that when we share something on the screen, instead of telling the parties, look at the top, look at the bottom, we just annotate which parts of the document or the picture or the video we want them to pay attention to. There is no need of choosing between face-to-face -face mediation and online mediation. From my experience, our job is the same. Our job is to help people think, prioritize, making decisions, brainstorm options, and then they can decide what's in their best interest to do. So whether they are face-to-face -face or online, I think that our job is the same. So the online mediation is just an extra tool in our mediator's box. We can, for, depending on the case, for example, if, if the parties have never participated in mediation before, they don't know the difference between mediation, arbitration, and so on, or if they live far away, one in New York, the other Los Angeles, perhaps it's better if we have a, uh, an online meeting first, just to make sure that everybody understands what we can do for them and what we cannot do for them, okay? So we can have the, the first meeting online and then depending on the case we can ask them how would you like to meet the next time would you like to continue online or would you like to come to my office so we can leave up to the parties to decide what which setting they are most comfortable with which cases are suitable for online mediation Obviously, all cases when there are some geographical uh, constraints. One is East Coast, the other is West Coast, or the buyer is in, in the United States, the seller is in Europe, okay? So, uh, cases are suitable to online mediation are also cases in which the monetary value of the dispute does not justify a face-to-face -face mediation. It, it will cost too much to the parties to travel to take time off and so on. Online mediation is also useful in contentious cases when there is a real or perceived, for example, power imbalance. Because when parties are online, uh, their behavior is different. They are less tense than when they are face to face. They are in charge of their territory. They are in their kitchen, they are in their office and so on. So there is no need for them to react to the physical presence of the other party. They are not in our office. They are in their kitchen. They are in their home. So online mediation is, again, very useful when, the, uh, when parties don't like the idea of being in the same room or even the same building with the other party. And finally, online mediation can be very useful when there is an element of urgency. For example, as you know, uh, nowadays with the social media like Twitter, Facebook, Yelp, people can do a lot of damage to the personal and uh, professional reputation of somebody else. And setting up an online mediation is much easier than setting up a mediation uh, uh, face to face. It, it doesn't take much time. We, we just need to look at the calendar, we send them the link and they, are, and they can participate. 
Let's take a look at the online benefits of online mediation, both to the parties and to us. Let's begin with the parties first. Obviously, they save time and money. They don't need to travel. They don't need to go anywhere. They don't need to take time off. There is an element of convenience because when we mediate online, we go to the parties. They don't come to us. So we can ask them when they are in the best physical and mental condition to participate in online mediation. For example, in a divorce case, probably the, the mother will tell us that the best time to have a chat, a private chat with her, is when the kids are at school or they are in bed. Another example of convenience, just imagine parties, people with disabilities, right? They don't need to drive, they don't need to find a parking space, they don't need to take the elevator. Another example, imagine that you are in face-to-face -face mediation and you find out that there is a, a document missing. A, an important piece of information is missing. Now, in that case, all you can do is to reschedule another meeting. Now, when you're online and the person, the party who has the document is there, we can ask that person, do you mind asking your accountant or whoever else for the document? And when you find the document, bring it back. So let's have a pause for 10 minutes. When you have the document, no problem, bring it, bring it here and we will share it and we will continue our online mediation. Another benefit to the parties is that the online mediation provides a physical and emotional safety. I already said why the parties feel, feel less tense because they are in charge of the territory. So in, in our opening statement, we will remind the parties that since their mediation is online, whenever they hear something they disagree with, there is no need to interrupt each other. They can just jot down whatever they want to say and they, they, whatever they want when it's their turn to speak. So we, we can set some communication uh, uh, ground rules online as well as we typically do face-to-face. Uh, what are the benefits to us mediators? Well, one benefit is that online mediation opens up new opportunities, new markets. Because if, for example, we are good at something, uh, we can offer our online, uh, our mediation services outside our city, or even outside our country. Okay. So, for example, if you are specialized in military divorces, it doesn't matter where the parties are. <laughs> Online, the online, uh, the video and online aspect also make it easier for people to reach out to us. As, as you know, some mediators now offer a 15, 30 minute consultation by phone. Okay. By why should they offer the same consultation by video? By video is much easier because they can see us, we can see them. I mean, it's much easier to establish a rapport with them rather than, than by phone. By phone, like by email, it's very difficult to find out if what we said was correctly interpreted. By video, it's, it's much easier. I mean, we can tell by the party's body language if what we said was properly understood or not. Online mediation allows us also to discover niche markets for um, um, uh, cases in which face-to-face -face mediation is either too expensive or not feasible. Just to give you an example, a couple, couple of years ago, we did a, a simulation for um, um, resolving a simulation of, 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 we did an online mediation simulation with some students for uh, roommate disputes. So the, the, the mediator was, was a student, the parties were students. So roommate disputes is something that how can be done online? Uh, how can be done face to face? So online, obviously, is, is much easier. Okay, so let let's talk now about the video collaboration software that obviously we need for an online mediation. And these are the criteria I think that each software should uh, take into consideration: easy, simple, intuitive. The parties don't care about the software. The parties have a problem, they 
want us to help, uh, want us to help them resolve their problem. So the software should be easy, simple, intuitive. Good audio video quality, regardless of whether they have a PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, and so on. Joint private meetings, shadow diplomacy, document sharing and annotation, support with all kinds of devices and calling number in different countries. Security and parties privacy. Now, when we started the virtual mediation lab, for our simulations, we used Skype. We thought, well, Skype is a, well, it's a very popular name. Everybody knows what Skype means, video, right? Until we find out that, number one, the quality of the communication was not great. More importantly, in order for, for parties to have a video chat with someone else, they needed to share their Skype ID. Now, is that a good idea in contentious cases? I don't think so. So I think that in mediation is much better when you send an, an invitation to the parties, blind copy, BCC, so they, they cannot even tell their email addresses, and you send them a link to click at, I don't know, 3 p.m. Eastern time. They click the link and that's it, okay. And so we as mediators are the only ones who know the party's email address and they know that we know also their cellular phones. Security, when we start an online mediation, we can lock the meeting so nobody else can get in. We can also decide that uh, we can assign a password to our online mediation so that only the people who have that password can join the online mediation. And after they join the online mediation, we'll still lock the meeting so nobody else can get in. So these are the criteria that uh, I think are important to take into consideration. In, uh, in our experience, the success of our mediation depends 99% on our mediation skills and experience. The, the online part, the technology, should be something taken for granted. So if, if we are good at what we do, we can do a good job face-to-face -face and online. So that's the key. Our mediation skills and experience, which takes years to learn. Learning how to use the technology takes two hours, as I'll explain later. So from our experience, the software that we're using is called Zoom Meetings, works very well. So we can have up to 50 participants online, next to each other, it's called gallery, it's, it's like a CNN, okay. So while, while we're talking to party number one, we can observe the body language of the other parties or attorneys or specialists. Zoom meetings comes in two versions. One is a free version, but up to 40 minutes, and then it stops. Then there is a pro version, which costs roughly $15 per month, and we can have as many meetings as we want, as long as we need. As I said earlier, the best way to try online mediation is to try it. Okay, so you can participate. If you, if you sign up through our website, virtualmediationlab.com, you can participate in five free online mediation simulations. So you can play the mediator's role or the role of one of the parties in workplace, family, commercial cases with other mediators in the United States or around the world, and a coach. Yours truly. <laughs> Our um, mediation online simulation consists of three parts. A one hour mediation, a 20 minute debriefing to discuss what happened, what worked well or not so well, and a video recording. So you can watch in the video and relate you can watch your video, and you can relate what you see on the video to what the, um, we discussed during, during the, the briefing. For example, when uh, you see yourself, you, know, you, you 
uh, realize some, you, you can pick some signals that you're not aware of when you don't watch yourself. It is, it's like the first time we hear our voice on a tape recorder, and we, you know, say, oh, oh my God, who is this? You know, it can't be me, right? So seeing yourself on the video is a, is a very, very interesting and useful experience. Now, let me run, let me see. Uh, good evening, Veronica and uh, Marisa. Uh, thank you for contacting our uh, online mediation center. Uh, your, your case has been assigned to Juliet, one of our uh, mediators. So in the next hour, Juliet will explain you what mediation means, how it works. She will ask you some questions about your case, so that at the end of the hour, you can decide whether mediation is indeed something that can be useful for resolving your case, all right? So let me step out of the online mediation room and Juliet, take it from there. We have about an hour today and the purpose of this Okay, so this was a, uh, an example of a online mediation simulation. As you could tell, the, 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 the mediator was in England, in, actually she was in London, and the two parties were in two different states in the United States. How to get hands-on training in online mediation? So we offer a two-hour training. The first, hour, the first part is a one-hour introduction to online mediation. So uh, this presentation is, is a portion of, the, of that hour. During that hour, we also teach a lot of best practices, do's and don'ts, okay, which obviously we don't have time to cover here today. The second hour is really hands-on. So I will first show you uh, how to uh, invite people, how to put them on hold, how to share information and so on. And then I'll pass control to you and then, and then you do it. So it's, it's really hands-on, okay? So n n nothing... Uh, uh, no books to read, nothing. Just, you know, see how it works, do it. If, it. if it doesn't work, no problem. Try again until it works. Okay. And, uh, and the two, two, two parts, part one and part two, cost 160 uh, mediators for uh, uh, $160 per mediator, unless we have an agreement, for example, with an organization like yours in which there are more mediators who are interested to take uh, this uh, training. A, a, an a, a, a tip for, for online mediation is that uh, once you, you start using the online video conferencing software, it's a good idea to integrate the software into the way we communicate for our business, w which means that, for example, next time that you're thinking of sending a long convoluted email to someone else, run the risk that the receiver of the email doesn't understand anything, doesn't understand the spirit of the content of our email, and answer back with another long convoluted email. Next time, think about whether it would be better to have an online uh, video conference. That's exactly, for example, for what we do for that online peer mediation project I mentioned earlier, uh, our team consists of people all over the United States, and we uh, communicate uh, very rarely by email. We have uh, weekly or monthly meetings online, and everybody can share the information online. So that, that's just a tip, okay. Now, that ends my presentation, okay, and I would like to um, do you have any questions so far? Because I, I would like to do a mo small demonstration. We can, I can do the demonstration and then you can ask some questions or you can ask some questions now. Go ahead. I think, I think you can hear just let us know if, if you're not hearing the question. Sure, sure. Go ahead. Okay. So um, when you are uh, in the having your single conversation, so I'll call it in caucus, and you left the screen or you're, you have one party on hold, and now you're gonna come back to that party. When I'm in caucus in mediation, I can knock on the door and they know I'm coming in. What do you do when you're online? Well, you, you can do something similar, okay? <laughs> you can do something similar. There is a technique called 
door knock technique. <laughs> <laughs> what a fantasy, right? And so, uh, so, so this is how it works, okay? So before, before I put you on hold, I say, uh, can you please turn your video off? And you turn the video off, and then I put you on hold. And then I bring you back, and I say, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, can you please turn your video on again? So it is the same, so it's a very respectful, respectful way of bringing people back together. So when you say, are you ready, they can hear you, but you can't hear them. So if there's, um, you know, a, a, an attorney and a, 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 a party consulting in, a, in their room, because you're on hold, you can't listen in to them? In a, in a no, room. right. Oh, well, actually, let, 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 let me show you, okay? So let me put you on hold. Okay. Okay. So th this this is what the parties see on their screen when they're on hold. Okay. You are on hold. So they, they cannot see anything. They cannot. They cannot hear anything. One uh, advice that we give is that before you put people on hold, it's better to tell them how long they may have to wait, okay? And also to give them something to do in the meantime, something to think about, something to write down, or if nothing comes to mind, have a cup of coffee or, or a glass of water, okay? Uh, so uh, this is all the stuff that we go into more detail during our, uh, our training, okay. Uh, sh was there another question or shall I do the demonstration? Just to give an idea of, of how it works, okay. Let, 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 let's do that, okay. Okay, so. Okay, so suppose that the case is about this car accident, okay? You can see the picture on your screen, okay? And I can also annotate whatever I want. For example, I can point out to you that perhaps there was an eyewitness and there was somebody else waiting at the bus. I, I think you got the idea. So we, you can share information and you can annotate uh, whatever you want to annotate so that the parties look at the same information. Okay. Now, likewise, I can share a document. For example, this is a, a lease agreement. Okay. So I can draw your attention to this clause or this clause or this clause, okay? It is the same, it is exactly the same concept. So sharing and annotating, okay? Now, in a car accident case, we can have a video, okay? So let me, let me show you how it works, okay? So I can share this video with you Okay, it's, it's a one minute video, but we, we don't need to, to watch it all. So that, that's the video. And finally, at the end, uh, we can pull up, for example, the memorand party's memorandum of understanding. First of all, party one agrees to do A, B, and C by uh, July 1st. 2016, party two agrees to do D, E, F by July 10. And uh, uh, let's put something there now. If the 
parties are unable to uh, perform the above tasks tasks on time they will call their mediator before taking any action against each other okay so now at the end of this after the parties reach an agreement and you ask them would you like me to write up your agreement yes you write the agreement you can save this as a pdf file and you can send this pdf file as, uh, by mail if you're allowed in the state of new york uh you, you could uh, Use this, you can use the PDF file as an attachment, for example, to a digital signature software. So the parties can receive the, the, the agreement and they can sign it on their mobile devices. Okay. All right. So uh, before we share the video, of the, before we share the video recording on the online mediation simulation we did with uh, uh, Manish and Justin. Uh, do, do you have any, any, any questions about what I said? I, I, can only, I can only see your hand. Uh, I have several questions. First of all, uh, can you give me the name of your website again? I didn't catch it. Yeah, uh, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hold on, so I'll be glad to. Okay. Oh, here it is. So the the name is Virtual Mediation Lab. Okay. And the, my email is virtualmediationlab at gmail.com. And if you go to our virtual media, to our website, Virtual Mediation Lab, there's also the phone number. So you, you can you, you can call me. Okay. And um if I were to decide to take your training, I presume the next step would use Zoom. Is that something that costs me money? And that third question is, have you had people use this for other purposes, like arbitrators for holding preliminary conferences among the parties, rather than having them uh, have to all come to one room? And I don't know enough about various online go to meeting things, Skype versus whatever, what advantages to Zoom have. I'm ignorant technologically. Okay. So let, let me let me try to answer. Uh, to participate in our training, you uh, actually you don't need Zoom. We we recommend that you have at least the free version of Zoom. And then if you decide you, you can you can subscribe to their pro version. Uh, once you have Zoom, you, you are the host, okay? So from that point on, uh, you have a number, li like your phone number, okay? And what you do is to send the link to the parties. The parties don't need to have anything. They, they don't need to subscribe to Zoom. They don't care about Zoom. So you only tell them uh, at 3 p.m., um, Eastern Time, click this link, and if prompted, uh, download a small app on, on your PC, on your Mac, iPad, iPhone. So, the, so the, the Zoom part is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is, is very easy, and the parties don't need to subscribe the, to, to, to anything. Okay, let me let me show now the let me pull up the video, okay? I'm Anish and uh, Justin, uh, as you know, I am uh, the mediator and I work for this uh, online uh, mediation uh, service. Thank you for contacting our company already had an opportunity to speak to each of you separately. So you already know what mediation means and uh, the fact that everything is confidential and how it works. You also know that if there is an agreement, great. Otherwise, whatever you said, your mediation doesn't matter because mediation is confidential, okay? 
So, okay. uh, if I understand correctly, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Justin and Manish, we're talking about a mirror, a kind of a mirror, Justin, that uh, you ordered to Manish. C can you say more about it? Yeah, I, I ordered a, a mirror, a custom mirror from uh, Manish's company. I found them online after doing a lot of research. Um, I ordered about three, I paid $4,000. Uh, I ordered about three months ago. Okay. And, um, about a month ago, it arrived and it was not as advertised. Um, the mirror in the photos on the website, it was a frame. It's a large oval mirror and it had a frame. The one I got has no frame around it. It's simply just the oval mirror. I see. And, and now, just uh, yeah. you're using an, an iPhone now, right? Yeah, I am. Uh, is the mirror there? Yeah, it's right back here on my wall. Can, uh, it, it was, if you switch the camera on your iPhone, can you show the mirror to us? Sure, sure. Hang on a second. So you can see the mirror has no right. frame, right? It's just, it's just mirrored glass. Okay. Uh, Manish, can you see the, have you seen the mirror? Yes. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, okay. I saw it. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so uh, just you, you can switch the, the camera back then. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay, so we're talking about a mirror that you bought a few months ago for $4,000, and uh, it looks at uh, is different than uh, uh, what you expected to receive, correct? Oh, absolutely. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't have paid so much for it if it was just the mirror. Uh, okay. Now, uh, Justin, uh, have you tried to uh, talk to Manish before, you know, before contacting our center? Yeah, I tried to get in touch with him, but I haven't, you know, no. been able to. Oh, okay, well, you're both here now, so now, now is the time to talk. Okay. Right. So, uh, Manish, you have seen, the, you have seen the, the mirror, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, I, I only have one question for you. Are, are you willing to see if something can be worked out through mediation? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it, I think it was a mistake on our part through our, as, you know, ordering department. So I'm willing to work something out with Justin today. Okay, all right. Now, you, you heard that uh, Justin would like uh, to, to have a replacement, right? Uh, uh, Manish, uh, is it okay if I have a word with you um, just to understand better what's on your mind? And Justin, uh, when I put you on hold, it's going to take only five minutes. Can you think okay. of any other possibility or, or settling this just in case no replacement mirror is, uh, is available? Well, I mean... Just, just think about it. I mean, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll think about it. Okay. Uh, okay. It, it, it's going to take five minutes. So I, I'm going to put you on hold, okay? So Manish, now is the two of us. Sure. Um, what do you have in mind to resolve this? Do you have replacement mirrors? Uh, we don't offer those mirrors anymore. I think we have run out of stock with them or we don't make them anymore. Um, so I can offer him some, a refund, like a partial refund. Uh, about $500 is pretty much all I can afford at this time. Uh, $500? Yeah. How, how soon? Uh, I mean, in the, next, in the next 30 days, perhaps, I can give that to him. Uh, what do you mean 30 days, perhaps? Uh, I mean, I can... I mean... Uh, Justin, I, I have a good news and a bad news. The... The bad news is that it seems that they, they don't make uh, mirrors anymore. They, they don't make any mirrors at all? They don't. That, 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 that's what he told me, and that, that is what he can tell you. However, um, uh, Manish is willing to resolve this with some kind of monetary settlement. He, he was thinking of uh, a, a partial refund. Is that something that you will consider, a partial refund? You know, j just to settle this and move on yeah i mean it's it's been a long time so i mean i you know it's it's got to be significant but that's yeah okay uh, uh, why don't you give me an idea what you mean by significant well i mean the frame was a big part of it i mean there's the the mounting i i, I got i would say a thousand dollars thousand dollar okay yeah uh, all right well we, we, we can talk about it Manish, okay, yeah. all right. Okay, well, uh, this is where we are. It seems that uh, the uh, option of uh, replacing the mirror is not feasible 
because Manish uh, doesn't make mirrors anymore. That, that's however, um, however, you're, you're both willing to um, to work out something with a partial uh, refund. Okay. Now I asked you uh, uh, what you have in mind, and uh, just uh, so that we can start the conversation. And uh, since you know that everything that we say here is confidential, Manish, when I asked you what you have in mind, what did you say? Uh, I have an offer of five hundred dollars as a okay. refund. Okay. And uh, Justin, when I asked you what you had in mind, what, what did you say? A thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Okay. So you're only five hundred dollars apart. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, uh, Justin, are you willing to accept five hundred dollars? Five hundred dollars or money? Are you willing to accept a thousand? I can't. You know, I'm a small business. Okay, that's fine. So at this point, all I can do as a mediator is to ask you whether you are willing, for the sake of getting this result and move on, to meet each other halfway. For example, seven hundred fifty dollars. Now, neither of you is going to be happy, of course, but is so. My my suggestion is to consider. Seven hundred fifty dollars to change hands as soon as possible. For example, within five business days. Um, yeah, I mean, five business days is a little tough for me. Uh, is there a way we can extend that, perhaps? Well, it's, it's up to Justin. Justin, uh, how much time are you willing to give uh, Manish to come up with the money? Well, how long does he need? I mean, if I'm going to take a, a, a hit on the the money, I've, you know, I've been waiting a long time. So, okay. how long do you need? Can I have, uh, 10 business days. Okay, 10 business days. Um, yeah, I mean, as long as it's by the end of the, yeah, t 10 business days is okay. 10 business um, days, okay. Yeah, and, but uh, not past the end of the month. Okay, sure. I'll agree to that. The, the end of the month, June 30th? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, Manish, you have Justin's uh, address, right? Yeah. Okay, now you understand that the whole idea of mediation is to resolve your, your case once and for all, okay? So as long as Justin receives the money that you agreed on, on time and in full, that's it. Uh, Justin, are you okay with that? Are you okay that uh, if you receive the money on time and in full, you are not going to take any further action? against Manish of his company. Yes, yes, of course. No, I, so no, nothing, no, uh, no, no, no court or anything. I'm, I'm tired of this. Yeah. No, no court, no Yelp, no Twitter, no Facebook, no Instagram, nothing. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. Are, are you okay with that? Yeah, that's okay. What, what about Manish? Are you, are you okay with that? Yeah, I mean, I prefer not to have any bad reviews up because, you know, I rely on word of mouth for my business. Oh, okay, uh, that, that's fine. Okay, yeah. now, uh, would you like me to write up your agreement? Uh, uh, yes. Just yes. to make sure that everything is uh, is crystal clear. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Ah, okay. All right. Hold on a second. Okay. Tell me when you see something on your screen. Yeah, I can okay. see it. Uh, okay. So uh, Justin agrees to receive uh, $750, $750 from Manish if, if anything goes wrong you agree to, to call me back so without you know without yeah. getting angry okay sure. that's okay yeah. all right so are, are we done with this yeah. Yes. So. Okay. All right. All right. Thank. Thank you very much. Then. Thank you. All right. Well, uh, please don't judge harshly my style. <laughs> we only have ten minutes, so <laughs> I had to do the most. I had to do the most of the talking, which is not yeah. necessary. <laughs> now, uh, so. Uh, Jesse, you're there, right? Yes, Manish is here as well. Oh, Manish is there. I, I Manish. Good to see you. Okay, uh, I, I have to say I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed that simulation. Now, does anybody in the audience like to ask any questions to Justin or Manish?
about their first experience participating in an online mediation. I have a question. I, I can't see you. Okay, hi, I'm hiding behind Colin here. My question is this. Does Google your program include mechanisms for the mediator to build and accept things? Justin, do you mind repeating the question? It was a bit uh, too far. Did you ask whether the, the service, that, what you're teaching provides a method to, for payment, a payment method, or is it no. just? No, 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 no. The, 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 the payment method is entirely up to the, up to the, to, to the mediator. No, the, no, the, the, there is no pain. It, it, it's not a platform. It's really a, a video conferencing software that you add to your practice. So ideally, for example, on your website, if you have a website, that, that will be, you will say that you offer mediation face-to-face -face and online, and uh, how you get paid, uh, uh, and what, what uh, what the, uh, your agreement to mediate says is up to you. Typically, the agreement to mediate will be similar to the agreement to mediate face-to-face, -face, except that the parties will pledge that uh, no portion of their mediation will be audio and video recorded. No, so, so the, the, no, there is no, no payment. There is another... Uh, Justin, I think I probably need some help from the question. Yeah, that's back. Uh, is there, you mentioned something about this online program for signatures to be done online? She's asking about online signatures. Uh, yes, there are three or four software. There, there are, uh, they do pretty much the same job. Okay, so they have, they, so you, you enter the, the party's email address, you attach the PDF file with the settlement they've reached, and once they click on a link on their iPad or on their computer, they can initialize the settlement or sign it. So there are, I think, three or four software, and they cost probably $10 a month, $20 a month, and some are a bit easier than, than others, but, uh, but uh, to, to, uh, to be very clear, right now I, I don't use uh, digital software. I, I think that the main job is to help the parties reach an agreement. Now, how they sign their agreement by mail, by uh, fax, is, uh, from my perspective, uh, doesn't matter that much. I know that that software, the digital signature, of, digital signature software is used um, by real estate agents. Okay, so that that's uh, that's a possibility. Okay. So I think if I can kind of return the last couple of questions, is people are thinking about a whole online suite for the remediation practice, and what Giuseppe is really showing us how to use a particular type of video conferencing software called Zoom, and also talking about these um, virtual mediation lab, which is kind of using techniques and follow up. Like it, it would be, it's not, it's not an all in package. So in terms of payment, you might do something like PayPal or Venmo. Right. Easy way to do it. I would do that part. Um, and, and also there's stuff like VeriSign and some other digital signature platforms um, that if you want to talk to me afterwards, I can, I can let you know about. Uh, but this was really more an example of the, the actual act of online mediation using the software and just in comparison to face-to-face -face rather than, it's almost less about the software, this just happens to be what I was doing well. All right. Uh, just, uh, if I may, I would like to make just a couple of comments and one, I would like to ask you a question. The comment is that, um, keep in mind that right now we are, 5,000 miles away from each other, okay? And what we are doing now was inconceivable five years ago, at least inconceivable to do with, with, with my Mac. You needed you know, very expensive equipment. So the technology 
is going to get better, faster, cheaper. Number one. Number two, most people are already familiar with their mobile device. I mean, they can't live without iPhone, iPad, and so on. So people expect that uh, reaching out to us would be simple in, in, in a way that they're already familiar with. And the question to you is, how was my presentation? I mean, did, did, you, did you find it useful? Uh, did, you, is, did it meet your expectations? Did you think that uh, online mediation was like this? Did you think that it was more difficult? Well, having used Skype in the past, I was, I was really impressed by Zoom's. Just, it's, just, it's pretty much lossless when you're using it. I mean, I was on my iPhone, which I think at the time it was on, it wasn't even on my Wi-Fi network. I think it was on, you know, Verizon, you know, cellular. and there was, you could see from the recording, there was no dropout. I mean, like the, the audio was a little, you know, wonky, but it, it, a little tiny, but the ability for me to flip the camera around and show actual thing I found really, um, really impressive. And, and the other thing about it that, you can kind of see in the video, it's like it's just very comfortable to talk. You're going to, you sort of stop in the moment. You're not you're not looking at yourself. You're looking at the other person online, and you can see I'm like snapping on things and just not even really aware. Um, so in terms of the quality, and like you said, you said like five years ago, you couldn't even imagine this. And using other products, I think it's really impressive. So. All right. Uh well, at this point, I would like to thank you all very much. So, uh, Justin, I'm going to send you the video recording for the session that you, you obviously you can post to your website. If any of the audience would like to receive the video by tomorrow, because I will post it on our website. So, you can just go to our website, uh, uh, go to the contact page, uh, send me an email, and tell me that... Uh, uh, you, you would like to watch the video, and I'll send you the link so you can watch the video. That's great. And if, if it's okay with you, just that we can even just put it right on the uh, conference webpage for this under the program agenda. Yeah, that, absolutely. All right. Have a nice evening then. Thank you very much. Bye now. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for Bye bye.